All right, we're on to our final assembly here now. So got everything all cleaned up. Got the tools out. Uh, seal driver. Putting the valve seals in. Everything's still laid out like it was. Got some assembly lube and got some rock arms over here. All right, so <clears throat> this is the front head. So I'm use the front valves over here because we still got them laid out like we took them out. So we don't have any problem about how they go back together. All right, so the first thing I do is get the valve out. up a little bit. Still put my color pretty easy. Seal. Alright. So this makes it pretty easy to put together. Let's get used to the new shop. Different valve, different camera angles than the old, the other shop. All right, I think we got a pretty good view. Of what's going on right there? Okay, so we got an oversized intake valve here. We're over this section. So the difference eighth of an inch. See the gap change right there. You look at them; they look different. Assembly lube on the stem. Got ahead of myself slightly. That happens. Need some lock them tight. Let's see. Got a bunch of different lock tights up here to choose from nowadays. Let's see. We got retaining compounds. This is my stuff I've been using. So we'll use this one here. Sleeve retainer. Isn't it? No, this is 290. That's not the one I want to use. I want the heavy duty. So on Loctites, down here. You have retaining compound, thread locker, and retaining compound. Thread locker is less holding power than retaining compound. So this one here, I didn't write down what the holding power was on it. But it's good to 450 degrees, which is pretty good. And it's thick. These ones here have more holding power. They accept oil contamination. And they have 4,000, 4,500 tensile holding power. They only good to 355. This one's good to 450, so this is the new one I got. So we're going to use this. This is a bit thicker compound, so it's like the old sleeve retainer. And it's oil tolerant also. It's oil tolerant. And it's open. That's a good sign. We're going to use this one. So I need to write on the bottle what the actual tinsel is on this one, but it's good enough for what we need it for. So I put this onto the valve guide to help retain the seal. So when you beat the seal on there, you got you got um, Loctite on there holding it in, as well as press fit. The garbage can didn't want to move. It moved. Okay, I think we got room. I don't know. I don't know what what area. What camera angles work better? I don't know. I don't think that's going to be the one. We'll figure it out. For now, you take a little bit of lock them tight, put it on your finger. Take it over here to your valve guide. Stick it right on the outside there. Wipe off anything on the top, because you don't want that going in the hole. Stick a little bit left on my finger. around and get the rest of the guide hole here. 
Doesn't take much. Oop. Got too much. Suck it back into the box. It's way too much on my finger right now. Moisture on it. This one's a little dry, so I put a little extra on there just to make sure it's good enough. All right, it's done. Blow the air out of it, close it up. Should be good to go until next time. So now you see the valve guides are lubricated with Loctite. Okay, I get back to assembly. All right, what head are we on? We are still on the front head. It did not move. Here's our exhaust valve. In the hole. Spin a little bit as it goes in. That lubricates the whole thing. Ninety percent of what you put on your slides right off anyway. Lubricated. Unlubricate my finger. Okay, still got the front head. So this is the intake. So we take the intake collar. There's the second one in our pile over here. Intake. This intake's on this side. Front the guide. And see the seal is going to go right on top of that. Now, to put this on, you kind of push it on a little bit of pressure, you kind of wiggle around a little bit. It pushes the lip over the top of the stem. You drop past the first one, you do the same thing, get it started, kind of wiggle around a little bit, a little bit of pressure, and it goes past the next lip. It's on there. And same on this one. Okay, exhaust overhangs the table so you don't get a nice flat surface here. It's not wobbling around. It's good to go. Now you take your installer and you beat it on in there. Lots of little small hits. If you get one big, big one like that, it just pops away out and it doesn't come back down. It's loose. More than it needs to be. And when you're in there, you want to make sure you got drag on your seal, like that. Then you take it and you spin it. If it doesn't spin, it's good. If it spins or moves, take it off. It's junk. Okay, this one they don't move and they're on there good. Okay, that head's good to go. Okay, it's just the exhaust. So the exhaust one over there. Take second one over, and there's another seal somewhere floating around here. There's a seal. And these are not reusable, no matter how cheap you are. It's better to leave them off and try to reuse them. See now it's going over the sky now. When it gets to the bottom, quit beating on it. You can hear the difference in the noise as we go. Just went over the edge. 
You see here, hear the noise hit? Gets a real sharp strike to it, that means it's bottomed out. Okay, good, good. And they're not moving. Alright, that's what you want to see. Easy. Okay, now we're on the rear head now. Doesn't matter which head you're on. I'm going to switch over to the other side, we can see better. i got multiple sides over here in this shop. That means you can't see from either side. Okay. No, I'm doing it backward, dumbass. I'm going to put it together like this. I'm going to put this on the valve spring side. Back over here. It's hard to get good help. Especially when it's me. Okay, goes like this. This goes against the valve tip. That goes against the valve spring. This is a factory tool from 36. It'll be 1936 knucklehead time frame. Not 2036, which we haven't got to yet. But we all be. Okay, so we got the top collar, spring goes in there. Yep, in there. Kind of on the backward side for me. This is not my normal angle for doing this. Stick it on the valve spring evenly. Start cranking the handle over there. Make sure you're where it belongs. That's good. Cranking on down. It got tight right there. That means the, the collar is dug into the valve guide. I mean the valve stem. So you can see how it's not going down very evenly. And it's dug into the collar. So that means we have to do something differently. Easy to work on like this. So we'll take this back off, readjust it. Time it went down past the guide or the keeper groove. You go down about that far so you get the keepers in there. You get the finger goes on the back side to support the inner one. Get the keepers out. One, two, three, four. So you lay them in like this flat. You put on the on the end of the valve stem, you roll it around that with your finger on the back side to hold it. And it screws up, just drop it out the back side. Push it down until it goes in there square. If the keeper's hanging down at an angle like that, it's not flat. It needs to go up to the back side. So when it looks like that, it's flat against the back side in there. You just lay this one right on top. It should drop right in. And then you just undo the handle underneath here and get it to come up. You know, it's coming up evenly there, not digging in on anything. Make sure it's nice and even, not one sticking up above the other. Or flat on the bench, not hitting an exhaust spigot. I take my screwdriver and my plastic hammer. I lay the screwdriver right on top of the keeper, right in the center of it, and give it a little wrap on both of them. And that tells you how tight it is. Now, if you don't hear the valve go pop, you got good tension on it. I didn't hear it go poop. We got a good, got a lot of tension on these springs. These are heavy duty. All right, so that's how you do that. Now I'm do the other one. Springs are trying to get mixed up with those in the back row. Remember, we can't not mix these up. Did I just mix these up? That's the exhaust I just did. That's the intake. I'm in the wrong valve. Can't mix these springs up. Those 
cannot get mixed. Spring should be 450, so get this exhaust. If in doubt, recheck stuff. I didn't use, I guess. This one should be 23, 24. Because the intake is lower. Nope. This is a taller one. This is not the color I've been using, so that's why I need a different number. But this is the taller spring, so it's the exhaust. So I did have them correctly, I just mixed them. Alright, so this is the intake, unless I just mixed them up again. Damn it! Yeah. Uh, quit mixing stuff up. Quit being a dumbass. Dumbass. I changed my lower collar. Did not much. Okay, that's the tall one. Short one. Yes, 35 again. This is the intake. Goes on the intake. This is the intake valve. Intake spring is an intake valve. Don't be a dumbass and put on the wrong one again. Except I had on the right one. I just got them mixed up over there. Kind of an important thing. Don't mix up your parts when it matters. I think we just did all this, didn't we? turn will do for you when you need clearance. Okay, intake, intake. Exhaust, exhaust.
again with the valve spring or with the valve. It's catching all kinds of small stuff. I don't need the screwdriver. Yeah, there you go. Turn it down deeper, it works. Imagine that. Put this one something wrong. There it goes. Wasn't where it belonged. Good. Don't stand in front of the springs when you do this. Like I'm doing right now. I am standing in front of the spring. Dangerous place to be. That's what you gotta do for cameras. Alright. There you go. Now the springs are installed. All up in there. That part's done. Front head, yeah, front head. Good deal. Exhaust is the first one over there. Don't mix those up again. Deeper when you pop it. Oh no. Should get the keeper up there where it belongs. This one does is not going in cooperating very well. To be in the wrong spot. There we go. Collar goes on a lot quicker and easier when it doesn't bind up. And they're nice and even, which you want to see. Okay, intake valve, intake spring. That's a good combo. How could it be so far? Try it again. See the bow is not in there centered. I don't know if you can see that or not. So just go like that. Pop oh, goes in. Go deeper. Should be almost enough. Another half turn. Need to keep a pop up in there. Okay, all look good. They're in there. Alright, there you go. All up in there like they belong. Everything's good. 
You can see the porting job up in there. If you can see a valve head, it's a good sign. It's hard to see a valve head on a pan head though. See, it's way the hell over there where you can't see it very well, but if you can see it, it's good. That's the best thing about line of sight. If you can see it, it's going to flow. If you can't see it, it don't flow for crap. All right, you go on that. Move on the pan, do the rocker arms. Be right back.